So I just got done aerating my lawn with a bluebird aerator that I just rented. And uh, it's got all sorts of good benefits for the grass. We'll go over that in just a second. But here's the aerator that I use. And um, one thing that I really enjoy about this aerator um, is that it's actually adjustable, this bluebird aerator. Other aerators I've used, um, you can't adjust it. But this one, uh, simply turning the crank, you can um, decide how low or how high you want that aerator to go and how deep you want the holes to be. Also another thing uh, with the drum aerator, you really can't um, uh, change the amount of weight that's on there. You fill it with water and that's what you get. Well, with this aerator you can kind of change that up a little bit. Notice I've got some um, I think two and a half, three inch pavers on top of there. If I wanted to I could add some more um, stuff. You could potentially even add some five gallon buckets. One potential drawback is I can't imagine doing uh, this with a, um, a ZTR mower. I'm just not sure a ZTR mower could could handle this because my mower it, it, it bogged down a little bit um, but it was able to take care of all that. And let's take a look at the, uh, the lawn here. You can see it made these plugs and over time the lawn gets a really thick uh, thatch to it and uh, all the roots kind of come together um, to form like this very tight lattice work. But uh, with the aerator, you're able to break through that lattice work. And um, now the roots uh, of this grass right here can grow and the roots can expand. When the roots expand, that means the grass is going to grow thicker, the grass is going to grow greener. It's just going to be a lot better for my lawn. Um, the only crummy thing is it makes some unsightly turd shaped pellets uh, in your lawn. What you can do now is you can uh, sow some grass seed. Uh, hopefully get some of it down there in those little holes or or and you could fertilize just keep in mind if you're choosing a fertilizer that has a pre-emergent and you have grass seed that will cause that grass seed um, not to germinate so make sure you are using um, a fertilizer that's not a pre-emergent you can see my yard's a little bit of a mess here but it's very early spring and um, most people don't aerate in the spring they choose the fall but the spring's actually a pretty good time to aerate. So um, here's that Bluebird aerator I rented from Beaver Creek Rental. And uh, it worked really great. And I was happy that I could uh, adjust it. Also, it's not too hard for one person to get in and out of a truck. And you won't need a trailer for it. So that's my review on this Bluebird aerator. One extra tip you'll notice that I've got some flags uh, I put around the yard. Um, this flag is here because I've actually got um, a drainage pop-up right here. So this is connected to my gutters. And um, whenever I get a lot of water, this pop-up comes out. I wanted to make sure I didn't hit that uh, with my aerator. And um, I, I saved some flags. Last time I trenched my yard, the utility people came, put a bunch of flags in my yard. After I trenched, I took all those flags, I kept them, and uh, I used them to mark little downspouts. I got another downspout over there. So by marking the downspouts, I can make sure I don't hit those with my aerator.